Inspector General Felice Mohamed Adamo will now remain in office for the next three months. That's because President Mohamed Buhari has extended his tenure. In Executive Director, Rule of Law and Accountability Advocacy Center, Okechuku Nwaguma, for more on this development. Mr. Nwaguma, the President's extension, they say, is necessary to give room for the proper selection of a successor. How do you react to that? Well, if they are saying that this extension was done to give room for them to make a selection, it, 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 I, it, the question is, did this come suddenly? Did this come suddenly? Uh, we knew that the IGP was going to retire, and the plans ought to have been initiated before now so to, to have a, a, a replacement. I, I think that the president need, needs to lead by example, by avoiding acts that are contrary to the law. Is the, the president particularly <laughs> breaking any law here? Is it not within his prerogative to determine how long um, he can keep him there in search for a successor? The public service rule and the Police Act 2020 makes it clear that once a public servant attains 30 years, I mean, by five years of service or 60 years of age, whichever one, whichever one comes first, that person should retire. And by February 1, the Inspector General of Police attained 35 years and was supposed to have re retired. So any, there is no law that empowers the president to extend his, the tenure of a retired civil public servant. So, and uh, if, I mean, the, the, the police council, which has the responsibility to handle, you know, replace the appointment of an inspector general of police, had all the time before now to sit and make a decision on that so that the president can appoint whoever is recommended by the council. By not doing that, the police council, the president have, have broken the law, and that is not good for our democracy. So it's just three months. Would you <laughs> rather, you know, a, vac a vacant position or the presidency buy enough time to be able to adequately replace the man? The point is that that, that for me is is not that for me is not a genuine ex excuse. There is a, a, a senior officer next to the IGP who is the. DIG operations, who is the most senior police officer. It, all, all they needed to do was to hand over to him to act, pending when the police council will wake up from his, his slumber. You know, re, you know, rather than break the law, what they have done is, is to break the law. And this is not good, like I said, for our democracy. Executive Director, Rule of Law and Accountability Advocacy Center, Kechuku Waguma. Thank you for talking to us tonight. Thank you.